Earlier this year, I had the opportunity to attend the launch of the all-new Honda Ridgeline in San Antonio, Texas. Over the course of two days, I was able to experience almost all aspects of this second-generation mid-size truck. There was the usual paved driving on highways and different roads. We drove the Ridgeline on an off-road course where we could see and experience its all-wheel drive capabilities with its traction management system. We were able to test its overall durability and we checked out its towing and hauling capabilities. There is one thing that we talked about but we didn't test and that's how this truck could be the ultimate tailgating machine. So in order to test it out, we are going tailgating today, NFL style. Okay, so we've loaded up the Ridgeline for our tailgate experience, uh, brought quite a bit of stuff table, chairs, barbecue, stove, a TV, uh, pretty well everything that I think that we need for tailgating. And the Ridgeline gobbled everything up, no problem. Those rear seats flip up, nice flat area. We could fit a lot of things in there. And then that in bed storage area, that's a godsend. And there's tons of room in there, which is great because we still have to pick some other things up like food. So talk about picking things up. I gotta be honest, I don't really know anything about NFL football. I've never been to a game and I've never been tailgating. I've been pretty well seen it on TV. That's about it. So I've enlisted the help of a good friend of mine who lives in Toronto and he's flying in today to Vancouver. So we're off to the airport to pick him up. Welcome to Vancouver. For, for, a, short, for a short period. For a short period, yes. Because first things first, we got to get over the border. We do. Go to the United States of America. Do you have your passport? Passport and Nexus. We're gone. Let's go. the border gotta pick something up at the post office maybe a little bit of a surprise you get it yeah here open that up here <laughs> huh? what do you think uh, this is pretty cool here let me see <laughs> all right man this will work well this is cool thanks for introducing me to my first NFL game and tailgating experience. Well, I think you're gonna have a good time. I'm surprised you haven't gone before. So, um, you know, for, for our uh, viewers out there, tailgating, it's, it's a fun kind of social get together before each NFL game. Um, it's right up your alley. That's food, for sure. I heard there's lots of food. There's lots of food, there's lots of grilling, um, there's drinks. It's just a nice little party atmosphere. There's even games that go on. So tailgating really all starts from a truck. You could do it in an SUV. I guess you can do it in a car, but it's called tailgating for a reason because of that tailgate back there. Yep. So we could sit on that tailgate, get the grill started, but uh, it's gonna be lots of fun tomorrow. Well, a few months ago when I did, I was at the launch of this vehicle I, I just, I looked at the vehicle, I saw all the different features that it had, and I'm just like, this has got to go tailgating, seriously. Yeah. So it's been a long time coming, planning this trip. Because, you know, like, you know we're going to show you a lot of different features that this truck has uh, for tailgating. It's, it seriously it could be the ultimate tailgater. And then no other truck has. Yes, that's true. Like, like that in-bed trunk, nobody's got it. Turn left on George Hopper Road. Time for a quick stop to get some staples. Next stop, downtown Seattle and Pike Place Market for some tailgating groceries. If you've never been to this market, it's a must see. Restaurants are plentiful, the produce is super fresh and tasty looking. There are vendors of all sorts, and of course, you can't come down here without visiting the world famous Pike Place Fish Market, where we call out our inner football receiver in us and make some world-class catches. This place will be perfect to get everything we need for our tailgate menu. 
time to rest up for tomorrow's big game. Well, David, we've made a lot of stops. We've really filled this truck up a lot. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's been a, a savior is that in-bed storage. First of all, it's lockable, so when we go into these stores, we can put our valuables in there, and they're secure, it's waterproof, but now we're gonna use it for the tailgating aspect. We're gonna get ice now, we're making it a cooler. <laughs> so we actually turn it from a safety nest for truck people into kind of that party atmosphere. Yeah, you know? it, has, it has a drainage plug, mm -hmm. so once you're done, you just hit that drain and it'll drain drain everything out and uh, yeah, it's perfect. That's yeah, pretty cool. I think it's gonna take a lot of ice though. We're on our way to the game. We gotta find a good ideal tailgate spot. I heard that could be challenging. And that's why we're going early. We're about five hours <laughs> ahead of the game. So it's a, it's a lot of time. But before we do all that, there's one thing we need to do. We gotta gear up. We gotta gear up. Well, that's a lot better. Well, way better. <laughs> Let's go. So I gotta admit, I'm neither a Buffalo Bills nor a Seahawks fan because I don't really follow the NFL. Yeah. But I am cheering for the Seahawks today because they just happen to be the home team. Well, I think this experience is gonna teach you a lot. It's, it's really fun. The tailgate, like we mentioned, we're going five hours before the game. So it's like <laughs> all day. Yeah. It's Monday Night Football tonight, so it's a big deal. Yeah. Um, it's going to be loud. Yeah. The Seahawks are the loudest fans of the whole NFL. They've set like a Guinness really? book record. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're going to see a lot of green and blue, and it's it's just going to be a blast. There's going to be a lot of cooking, yeah. a lot of fun, a lot of football tossing around. It's just just a party of uh, kind of celebration. Oh, man, I can't wait, especially for the food. And you know what? By the end of today, yeah. I think you're going to be an NFL fan. Well, we'll see. All we'll right. see. Well, let's get there. Yeah, well, hopefully we can get a really good spot. I think so. Famous last words. You would think that getting there before noon for a 5.30 p.m. game would be plenty of time, especially since it's a Monday and people should be at work. Wrong. We finally found a spot. It was just a regular parking spot, but we turned it into a makeshift tailgate spot. All right, it was a pain to get a spot, but we got a pretty prime spot. One cool thing though, while we're getting ready, we need some tunes. Come, come over here. You listen here. There's music coming from the bed. That's the in-bed audio system, and that's inside the, tr the, the, the truck bed. Boy, we've been the hit. Everyone's been coming over to see our cooler, the built-in cooler that we did. Check it out. Minutes into setting up, it's obvious that this football camaraderie thing runs rampant in this small parking lot. Regardless of who you're cheering for, everyone is welcome and the party and the food is on. And our Ridgeline seems to be a huge hit. Next time we come here, man, we need to get one of those Honda Ridgelines. It has a cooler in the back. Go Bills! What kind of truck is that? One Seahawks fan. Honda Ridgeline. <laughs> Honda Ridgeline. Yeah, yeah, it's done over there. <laughs> On our menu, we bring a little Canada with us with some East Coast toasty style Perfectly dogs. toasted, look at those grill marks. Yeah, that's a Quebec toasty. It's Seattle for the Hawks versus the Bills. Of course you have to have some buffalo wings since buffalo's playing. We make some peri-peri prawns from the Pike Place Market. I wanted to take advantage of the features the Ridgeline has, so I decided to kick it up a little. All right, David, I said that we would be doing some kicked up tailgate food. You did, you had a, you had a surprise for us. Rack of lamb. Rack of lamb, wow. Rack of lamb tailgating. But not just any rack of lamb, it's gonna be sous vide style. Sous vide style, so what's that? Take me through that process. It's a special appliance that you basically cook under vacuum, You're, the food's in a bag and it cooks in, in hot water. Okay. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna, give us the most perfect medium rare lamb. However we want to set it, it's going to be awesome. The only reason why we can do it is because this truck's got a 400 watt inverter built into the bed. All okay, right. and so we're going to plug it in, we're going to use it, and in about an hour, we're going to have the perfect rack of lamb. All right, that sounds good. I guess we'll stay tuned. Get it out. 
David, yeah. Rack of you rack a lamb? Yeah. You like to give it a shot? How's it? Definitely oh, awesome. <laughs> Tastes like it came from a restaurant, morning. not a truck. <laughs> Four hours later, it's time to pack it up because there's an actual game to get to. Tonight's Monday Night Football and it's a full house. David's definitely right about the fans in this stadium. They are loud. At times you have a hard time hearing yourself. I can't imagine what it's like to be on the field. The Buffalo Bills and the Seattle Seahawks battled right to the bitter end with the Seahawks edging out the Bills 31 to 25. It's hard to believe that this game experience started 12 hours ago and it's finally coming to an end. What a day. So it's time to head back to Canada. We, we had a great time yesterday. Yep. The Seahawks won, yeah. which was good. It was a nail biter at the end, a little too close. But uh, what'd you think of the whole tailgate experience? Well, it wasn't what I expected. First of all, <laughs> if any of you watching ever want to go tailgating in Seattle, especially if it's a Monday night football game, make sure you go really, really <laughs> early. We thought we were giving ourselves a ton of time by leaving at like around 11 in the morning mm -hmm. for a 5.30 game. Turns out that's not very early. We basically got the very last possible spot, parking spot, uh, to tailgate, and it wasn't even a tailgate spot. Yeah, we were lucky. We, were, we, we, were, ma we made it a tailgate we spot. We were really lucky, and we made it a tailgate spot. But uh, once we were settled in, you know, we, I just can't believe, it's not even like you're at a football game. It's more like, it's, a, it's like a festival. Yeah, Everyone it really is. is so into it. I can't believe, you know, first of all, Monday during the day, like, I guess a lot of people called in sick that day because <laughs> there's tens of thousands of people there for the tailgate and the pregame activities. They love the Ridgeline. Oh man. There were a lot of people that came up and asked about the Ridgeline, and mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Like, they've never ever seen this truck before. It's almost like they they knew nothing about the Ridgeline at all. But they were so totally impressed with the inbed audio, yeah, the inbed storage for sure yeah. that we turned into a cooler, mm -hmm. and then of course the sous vide with the inverter, right? And that it was a black edition. And the that black was, edition. That was pretty cool. Yes, they really liked that. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually single-handedly sold a few of these yesterday. We might have. You know? <laughs> we might have. <laughs> What'd you think of the game? The festivities, that helicopters fly, you know, with the flag through the stadium. That was cool. They got fireworks. Well, I think I'm hooked now, not just for the NFL experience, which was my first time, but the tailgating. It was so much fun. We have to go tailgating again. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you want to see the full Ridgeline video, click here. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.